NBC7's Nightly Check-In is sponsored by Cox, bringing us closer. Local school districts calling for more control from the governor when it comes to choices on masks and vaccine mandates. Thanks for joining us. This is a nightly check in. I'm Mark Mullen. So a group called School Board Members for Local Control is making an appeal to the governor asking for more local control over COVID restrictions like mask guidelines and vaccine mandates. It is made up of about 18 school board members from Ramona, Julian, Lakeside, La Mesa, Rancho Santa Fe, Escondido, Santee, Alpine Union, and the Julian Union School Districts. They also want the governor to use his authority to end the state of emergency in California. I want to make sure that as a school board, we can empower those families to make the choice that's best for them. And that's what I'm about. That's what this group is about, is to make sure that we can achieve those things and have that local control. And that's sort of got to come from Sacramento. That's not what's coming out of Sacramento right now. The group is also asking for the governor to oppose any piece of legislation that removes personal belief exemptions for vaccinations of students and staff. They say they are not anti-vaccine or anti-masks. They contend they say they are just for choice. NBC7 reached out to the governor's office for a response to these demands. We have not yet heard back. As expected, the state's indoor mask mandate is expiring at the end of the day on Tuesday. And that means for vaccinated people, masks will no longer be required in some indoor places, but still highly recommended. Vaccinated or not, people will still have to wear masks in higher risk areas, public transit, nursing homes, as well as other congregate living facilities. And the same goes for students across the state, at least for now. Masks in schools remain mandated. However, Health and Human Services Secretary Dr. Mark Galley today said the state will reassess the guidance on school masking on February the 28th. The community of Coronado is a little bit uneasy after 11 people were robbed over the weekend. This all started about 1030 Saturday night. A couple seated on a park bench was robbed in Centennial Park. Police say the gunman then robbed five more people on the other side of the park. Then apparently he went to the ferry landing parking lot, hit a woman in the head during the assault. Three people approached. He robbed them as well. The robber described as thin, having tattoos on his face, 20 to 24 years old, wearing a gray or black T-shirt, got away with cell phones and other valuables. A remarkable thing about this story, a group of five people, people who were ripped off at the park, actually caught up with a suspect and took away his gun. He got away, though. Police are hoping images from a nearby camera will help find the robber. Anybody with information is being asked to call Coronado Police and help sort out this really weird and troubling crime. USS Carl Vinson is back home in San Diego just in time to spend Valentine's Day with loved ones. The ship and its strike group arrived in San Diego Bay following an eighth-month deployment in the Indo-Pacific Monday morning. This return follows an accident aboard the ship in January. A fighter crash. You may remember during the landing attempt on the flight deck while the ship was in the South China Sea, the pilot and six other sailors were injured. The Navy later confirmed leaked footage showing the fighter jet in the ocean surrounded by debris. This photo. More of your headlines right after this. When you have wall-to-wall -wall Wi-Fi throughout your whole home, you can use it everywhere. Yes, even there. Get wall-to-wall -wall Wi-Fi with Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. Avocados may be a little bit harder to come by in stores in the coming weeks. That's because the U.S. government has suspended all imports of avocados from Mexico. It comes after a U.S. plant safety inspector received a threatening message on his cell phone. Mexico's Agriculture Department acknowledged the import ban, saying it affects avocados from the region of Michoacan. It is not yet clear what was said in that phone call or who made it. But avocado growers in that region are impacted by drug cartel turf battles. The U.S. says the ban is in place until further notice. Before we sign off, here are your current temperatures. Dagmar has an extended forecast over at the weather section located on the main menu of our streaming app on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. I'm Mark Mullen. Have a good night.